guys. Welcome to my live. I hope that you guys are having a great Monday. It is absolute chaos here at my house. I am a mom of four kids. We are on a snow day. So, I mean, all bets are off on who ends up running through this live, but we're gonna just go with it. Um, if you guys do not typically follow me, my name is Erin, and today I'm gonna share a bunch of my pink home favorites as well as like one personal accessory. My idea behind this was these would be fun ideas to ask for for Valentine's Day or if you're hosting for Valentine's Day, maybe a brunch, maybe a Galentine's Day um, get together, that these I I items would be great items to ask for. So they're not necessarily actual Valentine theme, they are just fun pink items for your home. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know I absolutely love pink, so this is not hard for me to round up. Um, before you go, when you are done with the live, make sure you hit follow so you know next time I'm on and you can find me on TikTok and Instagram under Erin Solange. So I'm going to let people get on a little bit, but I will slowly go through the items and then kind of regroup on some of them. But again, here are some of my pink kind of home favorites. So if you need items to ask your significant other for, for Valentine's day, these are some great options. The first one this wine glass. Um, I was looking for a fun pink wine glass for, I just realized if you guys are like, what is she doing? <laughs> I realized that I scheduled this live for 1.15, not one. So I am uncharacteristically early. So that just, that just registered. So anyway, that's what my brain is doing right now. Um, these pink wine glasses. If you are a pink lover, these are absolutely beautiful. They're like a thin glass. I cannot stand wine glasses that have a thick glass rim. They are a beautiful light pink color with a gold rim. I feel like they're sometimes hard to find in stock in the wine glass, but you can also get the champagne flutes, which would be beautiful for Valentine's Day. These are also a really great gift idea. Um, so if you're looking for a fun little, I've had these for a couple of years. I just think that they're beautiful. We throw them in the dishwasher. I don't know if it's actually dishwasher safe, but everything at my house is. So um, they have withstood, withstand, withstood the dishwasher. And if you guys are looking for specific items for Valentine's Day gifts, whether you're like trying to figure out what to ask for for yourself or whatever, leave me some ideas in the chat. I can kind of compile, compile them for my live on Thursday if that would be helpful for you guys. The next item, these are so stinking cute. So my mother-in-law told me she had mailed me some items. She knows I store like everything in mason jars. I feel like mason jars are the unsung hero of home organization. And she sent me these little like vintage rose mason jars. So if you are a person who, whether you store your fruit in mason jars, I store all of our produce in our fridge in mason jars, any sauce I make, anything like that, I use the plastic screw on lids, lids with these and these are just like a fun little upgrade but also i feel like mason jars are just so multi-purpose because you can get so many different lids for them so whether you're a mom and you're looking for straw lids whether you want the protein shaker lid whatever it is but this is a fun way to kind of switch it up so this is a really great idea this would also make a good um like vessel for a teacher gift or for galentine's day gifts something like that where you could put like little bouquets of flowers in them and then they'd have a pretty little unique mason jar. Next up is hands down one of my favorite items. I got these last year right around this time um, to create a Valentine's Day coffee bar. And if you follow me on social, I am planning to kind of update that this year, but these will probably still make the cut because they are absolutely beautiful. They're these fluted glass coffee mugs. They are, like I said, glass, but they have not broken. They have not had any issues again I don't know if they say they're dishwasher safe, but they sure are in my house. These have been absolutely awesome. They're just beautiful. I don't know if you can see them. They're a good thickness of glass for a coffee mug. They hold a good size cup of coffee. I mean, I drink like eight glasses of coffee a day and they seem to do just great for me. So if you're looking for a fun, this is like a good uh, home decor item. I'm actually hosting a Favorite Things Galentine's Day party. So if you guys have gone to a Favorite Things party and you have suggestions, leave them in the chat because I've never done a favorite things party, but I'm hosting one in two weeks. And this is one of the contenders. I feel like this would be a really cute little gift to give to all my girlfriends. So next up is if you are a mom and you do not own the mini dash waffle makers, you need to get one. 
I actually got this. I don't know if any of you guys are TikTok people. I feel like for like the later part of 2020, all of 2021, like the big craze was the keto uh, pizzas and everything that people would make in waffle makers. And so I was, I hopped on the bandwagon um, for like one minute. <laughs> And so when I did, I bought this adorable little heart waffle maker and we use it all the time now, year round, but we're just gonna pretend I only use it for Valentine's Day season. But these little mini dash waffle makers really are great. They're a perfect size waffle for kids. Um, I make like a big batch and then I put them in baggies and freeze them and they throw them in the toaster. Um, they come in pretty much every holiday, but I like that the heart one sort of works for year round. I feel like for, you know, just because I love you. So anyway, this is a really cute idea. They also have a Bundt cake maker right now. I believe it's, oh, the one I have is red. I grabbed it a couple weeks ago. And if you like to bake at all, we have been putting everything in the heart Bundt cake maker. And it is like amazing. It makes the most delicious little cakes. And my kids think that I'm like mother of the year. So that's a win. Okay, next item. This, okay, mine are not exactly pink, but I'm still sharing them as a pink find because they do come in a set that uh, has like a pink, like dusty rose color to them. And I was actually just asked for a suggestion for these on social, which is what kind of reminded me to add these to my chat. And don't forget to say hi in the chat, you guys. You guys are all very quiet, so chat with me and <laughs> tell me hi. Um, those of you that are just jumping on, my name is Erin. I'm sharing some like pink home favorites that would be great Valentine's Day gifts. If you are a man uh, looking to give something to your significant other, um, if you are looking for something to grab for yourself or you know to tell your spouse or your significant other you want, these are all some great ideas. Hello, thanks for saying hi, Carrie. Um, these coasters, so I have four kids, ages 10 and under, and coasters are like the biggest pain in the butt because I feel like half of the coasters I've purchased, if they drop them, they ding the table. So I can either have like water rings or I can have big chips out of my table from my kids dropping hard coasters. But I feel like most of the silicone coasters, things like that are pretty freaking ugly. And I grabbed these little, I don't know, they're just, they look so pretty stacked up. This is what like the whole stack looks like. Like I said, this is not the pinky stack, so take it with a grain of salt when it's for pink favorites, but you can get a pinkier stack. But this is what they look like stacked up. This is the top. They're silicone. You can throw them in the dishwasher. They have been absolutely awesome. Um, we have them kind of floating all over our house. So if you're looking for a good set of coasters, this is a great option. Again, this would be um, a good little gift idea for like a girlfriend. This would make a really great housewarming gift. So, um, I think that the, the pinky ones that I linked are like a octagon shape. So they have a few different shapes. I also have their trivets that are large rectangle or rectangles, I do know my shapes, that are large triangles that are awesome as well. Next up, this was probably um, top 10 seller in December for Christmas and for good reason. It's such a fun find, uh, really great, like unique gift idea and super useful. So it's this self-stirring mug and I'm gonna try and show you guys how it works if I can. So essentially, you add your liquid to it. I'm not gonna make it too full because if I do, I know I'm gonna spill this everywhere. Um, but you add your liquid and then whatever powder. So for this, I'm gonna add some hot chocolate. And my husband actually uses this all the time for his protein shakes. I'm not that healthy. So hot chocolate is a little more <laughs> my speed. So I have my powder and my liquid in there. Like I said, didn't fill it very full so I can tip it to show you guys and then you just push the button and it stirs it up. So if you are looking for like a fun little unique item, we have used this more than I thought we would as I'm spl splashing myself. Um, it comes with a lid. So if you like don't want it splashing everywhere, but my kids can use it on their own. They've been using it for hot chocolate all season. And on that note, the kettle that I used with this if you are a hot tea drinker, hot water drinker, anything like that, um, everything is linked in my bio, yes. So everything will be individually linked. Someone just asked this, I'm not just like going off on a tangent. Um, 
Everything will be linked on this actual video by the time I'm done, but also you can find a lot of this under home favorites or kitchen favorites in my uh, Amazon storefront. And if you can't find something, you can always DM me on Instagram. Um, Aaron Solange is my username and I am quick to get back to you. Okay, if you like hot beverages, you know this is like kind of a uh, niche product. Not everyone is a big hot beverage person. I got a different uh, electric kettle last year and honestly it was bulky, I didn't love it. Um, my girlfriend has had this one for years and I just thought, okay, I'm gonna see if it's worth the hype and if not, whatever, I'll move on. and just continue to microwave my water. This electric kettle, even my husband loves, it does come in other colors, so if you're not a pink person, uh, the copper is stunning, but it comes in, I think, white, black, uh, gold, copper, it comes in several colors. And it just sits on a tiny little base, it heats up your water in like seconds, and I just like that it's not super bulky sitting on your counter. I leave mine sitting out kind of like decor. Um, we use it literally every night. I make my little cup of calm. <laughs> like the 90 year old that I am and uh, I use this kettle so if you are looking for a great gift to ask for if that is you if you are someone that makes hot beverages every day um, highly suggest it I have absolutely loved it it's definitely worth the price tag like I said I've tried less expensive versions and it just wasn't worth the hype um, so if you're going to invest in an I don't know, a kitchen appliance. It's like we all have so many freaking kitchen appliances that if you're gonna get one, you might as well get one that actually works. Okay, next up, this was also top seller last year. I actually use this more in the summer. It just like, I feel like looks better on my counter in the summer, but this was one of my early like TikTok Amazon finds. If you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I do pretty much daily Amazon finds. I um especially love to share like organization i try really hard to share items that will like truly help your life so i group items whether it's like today's post um on instagram and tiktok is going to be on amazon finds if you have a smaller kitchen so my hope is that there's some items that can help you to stay organized with a smaller space whether it's um organization tools or compact tools things like that so um, I try really hard to share Amazon finds kind of in that capacity, if that makes sense. And this is kind of a great multi-use item. So um, with four kids, I try really, really hard to keep produce on my kitchen counter on our island. I feel like if my kids can reach apples, they are 10 times more likely to eat one. And so this bowl, you can wash your fruit in the bowl and rinse it off. And then the base screws right back on and you can put it on your counter and it looks like a beautiful bowl to display your fruit in. I have absolutely loved this. It comes in several colors. This is actually, you can, it's a little bit hard to tell, but it is like a very, very light pink. I feel like it's a great like home decor pink where it's not so in your face, um, but it's beautiful sitting out. I think it also comes in white, maybe a mint. So several colors, but this has been really great. This would also be a really beautiful um, Valentine's Day gift or home warm, housewarming gift with a bunch of fruit in it. I have housewarming on the mind and one of my girlfriends just moved, but um, so you can tell that that's like where my brain's going with a lot of this. I'm gonna st everything, stop everything, say hi really quick. A lot of you guys are just jumping on. My name is Erin. I am sharing uh, Valentine's Day, pink home favorites, whatever you wanna call it. Basically items you can either gift to your girlfriends, um, ask for yourself, gift to yourself. I am a pink lover through and through, so these are all items that like I, I bought nothing for this live. This is all pink stuff from around my house because I genuinely love pink. Um, the next item I'm gonna share are these plates and bowls. Every time I share kitchen organization, this is one of the top links I am asked for. And for good reason. I saw these online probably two years ago and absolutely fell in love. They are these like terrazzo uh, print plates. These are melamine, so they are not, um, they are not microwave safe. If you've ever microwaved melamine, you know. Um, but you get the plates, the smaller plates, and then the bowls. I got these for outdoor dining because obviously they're not breakable, but they are absolutely beautiful. I do believe they come in um, a couple other colors as well, but they're so cute. They have, I don't know if you can tell, you guys, two minutes before this live went on, my ring light broke. Thank goodness for a handy husband. I am literally 
like kind of coming at you from a weird angle with uh, electrical tape holding my phone in place, but the show must go on. So if I'm like trying to get to the camera weird, that's why. But here you can kind of see the color a little better. And I have one fingernail not painted. Okay, um, let's go to this next item was new to me. Maybe not new to all of you guys, but this would make a great uh, Valentine's Day gift for your kids. So I am admittedly not the Insta mom that does a big love basket for all of my kids. I have four kids and just over the years, it's, I don't, it, that just seems daunting and I'm not like a stuff person. I get overwhelmed with a lot of stuff. So I try really hard if I'm going to do a gift for my kids for Valentine's Day to make it maybe a group something that is useful that doesn't clutter my house and this would be a really great option um i invested in four of these board games i had never seen these before but apparently it's not new to a lot of you but the board game looks like this it comes in this like cute little um like faux book cover it's absolutely beautiful i got four of them the, the candy line is the pink one there is also mystery date, uh, like old school in a light pink color. And then there's several other more neutral colors, but um, inside of it, for each of them, you have your typical board game components. Um, I'm gonna show you. So inside Candyland, it, the, the board just folds up more compact than your typical board game. And they all have a little bit of a vintage feel. So here is Candyland. It's a little bit like vintage in terms of the board itself, but my kids have absolutely loved having these. We do not have a ton of space to store board games, so I didn't have a lot of them. And um, this kind of allowed us to have more because I can have them sitting out. Um, and then here's the inside. So you get your stack of cards and your little people just like normal. The kids have absolutely been loving uh, Monopoly, we also got Scrabble and Sorry. So those are the four I have so far. They are all 10 out of 10, absolutely love them. But this would be a really cute gift idea if you are like just a girl mama, um, getting this one and mystery date would be a really fun idea just to do these with like, put these on the counter, Valentine's Day morning, put like a chocolate bar or a pack of gum, whatever your kids are into, call it a day. You have something that's not cluttering your house and something that your kids can use. Also, another really, really good housewarming gift. I actually um, was just telling my husband I'm gonna start slowly stocking up on them to keep having these on hand so that I can um, hand these out to friends when they move because I just think it's a great way to kind of give something as a housewarming gift that the entire house will use. So, kind of a unique idea. And then this next item, You'll have to go to the listing to see that it looks a little more Valentine's Day-ish when you buy it, but I also feel like it's worth showing how I use it in my house. So I am big on finding coffee table books that I can use for decor that are still beautiful inside. So my actual favorite coffee table book is this like, it's it's on my home favorites on Amazon, but it's... Um, it's animals and all of the pictures inside are these beautiful photos of animals and my kids love looking through it. I love that it's something I think that they'll remember being in our house, but this would make an absolutely beautiful Valentine's Day gift. Um, all of the photos inside. So I took the dust ruffle off that has florals on it, but it is filled with floral images. But then if you like to decorate with like more neutral decor or use books on your shelves or whatever it is this is what the underneath of the dust ruffle looks like which i always wish they would show on amazon listings they don't always show that so it's a great neutral book i use this right now on my entryway table underneath a vase of flowers and i just think it's beautiful um but they're just great books i there's something i used to always go to like goodwill and grab books for coffee tables and i don't mind that once in a while but if they're where someone's going to reach to them kind of keep in mind someone may actually grab them and leaf through them. So I have learned that the hard way with like some kind of, not like bad weird, but weird books. Okay, um, I know a few more of you guys have just jumped on. Make sure if you are new here that you hit the follow button before you get off. Uh, my name is Erin. I'm sharing a bunch of my pink home favorites for Valentine's Day and make sure you say hi in the chat. You guys are all very quiet. 
<laughs> and it makes it a little less awkward when I can actually chat with you guys. So make sure you say hi. Um, the next item I'm gonna share, as I just said, I'm sharing home favorites, is like the one non-home favorite that I thought was worth noting in case you wanted something to wear for Valentine's Day. So I am, um, I pretty much always have something pink to wear, but if you are looking for a cute way to add pink and color to your outfit on Valentine's Day, this headband is so cute. One of my friends here in town who is an influencer is like the queen of headbands and she looks so cute in them and influenced me to get this. Um, I do not actually think I look cute in headbands. So far, my daughter's been the only one to wear it, but I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful enough that even me who doesn't wear headbands ordered it, but um, I don't know. I just think that would look so cute for Valentine's Day for a date night. Um, my daughter is eight and she wore this and it fit her great too. So it's also a cute idea for a little girl. It looks very designer, but at like a $20 price point. Next up, this is probably one of my like more heavily influenced items when I'm out with my girlfriends. I, you know, who doesn't love having like a tumbler on the go, but I don't actually love drinking things out of, um, like drinking wine and stuff out of stainless steel very often. I don't know why, I just don't. I love the feel of glass. So I got this little uh, glass in like pink terrazzo. I feel like that's like a theme here. Uh, wine glass and it comes with a lid that just pops on but it's a great travel mug I use this for Halloween things like that when I'm out with my friends or if I'm just like walking over to drink on my neighbor's porch um, you could easily put other items in it as well like your coffee but it is beautiful this would make a really great little gift idea I think this would be a cute teacher gift I typically would not say to gift um, cups because I know that they get a lot of them, but I don't know that they get as many like wine glasses. So if you know your kid's teacher very well, this could be a fun one. All right, next up. Oh, these plates. So if you follow me on social, you know that for the most part, I keep my kids dinnerware drawer very cut and dry. Um, I'm like the boring mom, everything's beige uh, because they all would argue over plate colors. But for Christmas time, I did switch it up and I had like red, pink, and uh, white in the drawer. And I kept that for Valentine's Day. And I got these plates. They are so cute. I feel like these are a great option for entertaining as well. Um, they're a little smaller than your average. I would say they're, they're bigger than a salad plate. Here's a typical salad plate. But they're a little bit smaller than your typical dinner plate where if you were to create a table setting with like a plain white dinner plate and this on top of it, it would be absolutely beautiful. I actually will likely use these for our upcoming, up, upcoming, upcoming Galentine's Day. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They are Mary Mary brand. I want to say that they are bamboo. Um, so I don't think that they're, let's see, you cannot microwave them, but you can dishwasher them. So keep that in mind. They are definitely like more of a seasonal. I wouldn't use these as like my all year round plates with my kids because I microwave everything for them. <laughs> but these are really cute and really functional. Okay, I'm gonna run through everything one more time, but if you are just jumping on, make sure you say hi and hopefully you find something you love. Uh, my name is Erin. I'm sharing Galentine's Day, uh, pink home favorites, Valentine's Day favorites, whatever you wanna call it. Essentially, I was hoping to give you guys some ideas of things you could ask for for yourself, some ideas you could give to your friends. Um, you could tell your significant other you wanted for Valentine's Day. I am a pink lover through and through. I love incorporating pink into my home, into my decor. So this is like, what is happening here? That headband really did me, did me in. Um, so this is very like natural for me to have a lot of pink in my house, as you can see, but hopefully I give you guys some fun ideas. Keep in mind that a lot of these um, come in other colors. So if you're not a pink person, you can still get some great ideas. The first thing I'm gonna share again are these fluted coffee mugs. These were by far one of my top sellers last year. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, we are actually hosting a Galentine's Day uh, favorite things party. I've never been to one, never hosted one. So hopefully it goes well. And I think this may be my item to give out. I feel like it's like a cute item. Who doesn't need like just a beautiful coffee mug? I I don't know. There's something about drinking coffee out of like a nice glass coffee mug that just like starts my day off well. 
and my night well because I'm notoriously like the 7 p.m. coffee drinker, um, but I absolutely love it. And speaking of coffee mugs, this would be, if you are a college student or you know a college student, if you are the parent of one, this would be an awesome college student gift. These self-stirring mugs are, I've already kind of done its job, but you put your liquid and whatever powder in, and then you click the button on the handle and it stirs it for you. So if you have maybe a college student that likes to drink hot cocoa or matcha or whatever it is, um, instead of having them need to have several different you know, items, this is a one and done way for them to make their beverage. It comes with a lid, so if they wanna take it on the go, but we have absolutely been loving this mug. My kids are, my youngest can't use it on his, her own, but my five, eight, and 10 year old all love using this um, to make their hot chocolate. I probably should get more because they fight over it. All right. Do you guys have any questions while I'm grabbing the next item? I don't think I've ever had a live where you guys have been so dang quiet. Um, or if you guys have items that you would like to see on my next live, I wanted to share some ideas next live that would be great uh, Valentine's Day gifts for others. So um, if you're looking for ideas for a husband, significant other, kids, whatever you're looking for, let me know. Some of these will correlate for that, but some of them will not. This one I do think does. These beautiful board games are just like to die for, in my opinion. I grabbed four of these board games recently for my kids. They come in this like pretty um, soft fabric faux book cover and they have a magnetic uh, closure. But what I love about them is inside you have all the regular components to a board game. So if you are looking for a way to incorporate more board games but you don't maybe have room to, to, to put them away, you can display these. And inside you get your game so all of the games monopoly any of them that come with a board game or like a game any of them that come with a board um the board just folds up smaller than normal and then all your other components are in the box you put it away magnets closed and you're ready to go i personally think if you have kids like gifting maybe each of your kids one of these with a candy bar for valentine's day would be awesome i am not the mom that does like a big love basket i just, I'm not like a clutter mom, I can't do it. And so I tend to be more of the, either like a decent shared gift um, or just like something small, or in this case, this would be a really great useful gift where I would feel a little more inclined to spend a little more getting each of them a board game. Okay, next up, this does come in other colors other than pink, but if you like to have your fruit on your counter, I have an island, I love keeping apples on my island because I have just found that my kids are 10 times more apt to eat an apple if it is on my island. And so I got this, gosh, like last winter, and you can wash your fruit right in here, has like the colander built in, and then when you're done, you screw this base on and set it on your counter and you have a perfect way to display your fruit. It has been absolutely awesome. It has been a huge seller for you guys. It is a light pink. It's like a very beautiful home decor pink because it's not real jarring. So if you like to incorporate like a little bit of pink, it's a good way to do it. I also think this would be absolutely awesome as a housewarming gift with like some fruit in it or something. Um, so keep that in mind. Next up, let's go back to these coasters. So as a mom, I feel like coasters are one of the trickier items for me to find because I used to go between, is it better to have like water rings or is it better to have dings in my table? Because heavy coasters, my kids were constantly dropping them and dinging my floor or dinging our tables. So I found these coasters. Now keep in mind, my set does not have pink. They do come in a set that has like a really pretty rosy pink color to them and they are um, an octagon shape but they look like this stacked up, so they're very beautiful. They all come in an ombre pattern, or like a colorway, and they look like this at the top. They are silicone, so you can throw them in the dishwasher. They are soft, like you're not gonna damage anything. We have absolutely loved these. Um, I can easily ask my kids to bring me a coaster without worrying they're gonna drop them. So if you are looking for a good set of coasters, I know that's like such a random ask, but I actually just was asked about it on Instagram a couple days ago, which reminded me, and made me think to share them. So keep those in mind. 
I have not shared this yet on this live and it's because it's heavy. So let me see if I can grab it. I was looking for, I had a Dutch oven and um, honestly, I was gifted it for a wedding gift. And although I liked it, I actually use my Dutch oven a lot. I wanted something that I could leave sitting out a lot because it's heavy. So I saw this Milo or Milo brand on Amazon and I grabbed this one. You have to watch for the pink to be in stock. I'm not 100% sure if it's in stock today, but this has been awesome. It is super, super heavy. It is a beautiful cast iron. I love the gold handle. It is oven safe, just like any other uh, cast iron pan. So if you are looking for a great thing to ask for, um, whether you want it in pink or another color, this is absolutely awesome. It is beautiful. It has been a home favorite for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more round over one of them and then that'll be it. We are on a snow day, so I feel like I'm like rambling through, <laughs> making sure I get everything done because at some point one of my kids is gonna run through here. Um, if you guys are in the Midwest, I'm sure a lot of you guys are on snow days. We live in St. Louis and I feel like we get like ice storms a lot. And so that was the issue today. We had freezing rain and then like the tiniest bit of snow, but it wasn't safe to drive. So these plates, probably one of my number one asked items when I share a cabinet organization is where I got these plates from. And they also, it's a bowl, it's a whole set, but these are melamine. So these are not microwave safe. These are like my indoor outdoor bowl or plates. So I use these when we are like barbecuing in the summer but I just think that they are beautiful. They are like a higher quality than a lot of the ones you would grab at a typical store. I have absolutely loved them. They continue to stay in stock as well, which I'm a little weird about. I like if I'm buying any kind of like plates or dinnerware to find something that stays in stock in case I need to add to the collection, um, which we likely will do this summer with these. So these are very pretty, such a great little gift idea for yourself. Um, that's about it. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. You guys were very quiet, but I have all of these items linked on my actual live video here, but you can also find 99% of these either under home favorites or kitchen favorites on my Amazon storefront. Before you get off my live, make sure you hit the follow button and you can find me on Instagram and TikTok under Erin Solange. I share daily Amazon finds. I love sharing items that are genuinely useful in your home, whether it's with organization, which is kind of my bread and butter, um, or just like ways to make your house and your life more functional. And I try to be really selective about those Amazon finds. So thank you so much for joining me today and have a good rest of your Monday.